Good morning. This is Selena Fox, and I'm coming live to you from my forest home in southwestern Wisconsin. And thanks to all of you who are joining in this morning. And yes, if you can uh, put some comments in and let me know where you're watching from today, that would be fabulous. Well, today we begin our virtual pagan spirit gathering via internet radio. Yes, indeed. There will be a series of podcasts this month for celebrating solstice and for connecting with others through a long-standing, yes, 40 years old, summer solstice community, the Pagan Spirit Gathering. Pagan Spirit Gathering began in 1980 with a summer solstice weekend event in western Wisconsin. The following year, in 1981, we expanded the gathering and gave it the name Pagan Spirit Gathering. And we've been meeting every year for summer solstice since that time. Well, this year, there's a pandemic going on. And for that reason, in April, we decided that we really needed to be able to converge our community this year online rather than face-to-face. -face. Indeed, the Pagan Spirit Gathering brings together hundreds of Wiccans, Druids, witches, heathens, and other nature spirituality practitioners from not only across the U.S., but other parts of the world. And with the pandemic going on, and with 30 to 40 percent of the people that get COVID-19 not having symptoms, well, it's not a safe way to bring people together from all over the world and across the nation without a vaccine and without really good testing and other um, methods of mitigation and control. So we are doing a virtual pagan spirit gathering. And the great thing about this is it's free. Donations certainly are welcome, but we're making it widely available to those who would like to join us. So we have two platforms that will be our virtual Pagan Spirit Gathering. One platform is through CSNP, Circle Sanctuary Network Podcast. That's Circle Sanctuary's internet radio station and network. Um, we are part of the many organizations and individuals that do podcasting through the Blog Talk radio platform. However, you can listen during the broadcast at the links on Blog Talk that are posted at the Circle Sanctuary CSNP page. And on Facebook, we have a CSN podcast page. Follow it, like it, you'll get updates about what we'll be doing. And our schedule of all our podcasts for June is at www.circlesanctuary.org and check under CSNP and you'll see all our podcasts, our upcoming shows, and some links to our previous shows. One of the great things about podcasting is that you are able to listen at the time of broadcast or you can listen later. And CSNP not only is available through the links at the Blog Talk site that we have up at our webpage and at our Facebook page, but there are a variety of apps for streaming podcasts. So you can find us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and Stitcher and a variety of other ones. So today, Virtual Pagan Spirit Gathering begins with an encore podcast 
that is Journey to Pagan Town. Yes, I did this several years ago and guided a journey into the pagan spirit gathering created pagan town. And while this is a meditative experience, given the fact that our community is joining together this year virtually online, it's my hope that by taking part in the podcast this afternoon or listening later at a time that's more convenient, that you'll have a sense of our Pagan Spirit Gathering community and what you'll be able to connect with through our other platform, which is Facebook. Yes, we will be doing a series of events during the week that we would have normally gathered in person for Pagan Spirit Gathering, June 14th through June 21st. And we'll have a variety of activities. There'll be ceremonies. There will be community meetings with all sorts of adventures some workshops, and lots of concerts and rituals. We begin on Sunday, June 14th at 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We will be having our initial community meeting and following that with the kindling of the fire in our opening ceremony. And indeed, one thing that we've had part of Pagan Spirit Gathering since our very first prototype back at Summer Solstice Weekend 1980 is the kindling of a sacred solstice fire. Sacred solstice fire. Sacred solstice fire. Sacred solstice fire. Fire. Well, we get to chant that at various times as we connect with Solstice Fire and our fire keeper, Brian and company, will be kindling a sacred Solstice Fire. And in good pagan spirit gathering tradition, we kindle it at the beginning of our gathering and we keep it burning throughout Solstice Week. Yes, through the wonders of cyberspace and live streaming, we will be able to keep alive some of our traditions and actually share them more widely. So you'll be able to join us wherever you may be. Now to get our complete schedule of what's happening during Virtual Pagan Spirit Gathering Week, please go to the Circle Sanctuary website you will see a section there that gives the times and the titles and descriptions of each of the activities happening throughout the week. Our theme for our virtual PSG is community connections. Indeed, during this pandemic time, one of the more difficult things has been the social isolation. And so creatively, we are finding ways to balance that need to be socially distanced and socially isolated to prevent the spread of the virus. We're balancing that with convergence of community online. So yes, for the first time in pagan spirit gathering history, we are converging in cyberspace. Many of the sites where we've held pagan spirit gathering in the past haven't had good internet, no Wi-Fi, and little cell service. Well, this year, there are a variety of people helping us with tech that do have good internet. So it is our hope that each of our events you'll be able to not only tune into, but be able to contribute and interact, there'll be chat. And in fact, a feature this year will be community rooms. So in the evenings, there'll be opportunities for people to visit, 
each other in Facebook Messenger chat rooms, and there will be special pages on Facebook where there also will be gatherings. There may be some pop-up Zoom gatherings. I may be doing some pop-up Facebook Live um, things for my main page, but most of our video and um, convergence for the Pagan Spirit Gathering known as Virtual PSG 2020 will be through the Pagan Spirit Gathering community page. So if you would like to join us for some or all of our Pagan Spirit Gathering experience on Facebook via Facebook Live, please be sure to visit our Pagan Spirit Gathering community page on Facebook. And if you're not already part of that page, I invite you to request to be part of it because it will be a chance for you to connect with other people and celebrate summer solstice online. So two, two main platforms are internet radio platform, with a variety of podcasts. Some of our podcasts will be encore presentations. Indeed, every Sunday this month in June, I'm doing something Pagan Spirit Gathering and or Solstice related. And so I invite you to tune in to Nature Mystic at 6 p.m. Central Time, which is 11 p.m. Universal Time today for journey to pagan town and hopefully you will have a chance to either listen at the time of broadcast or later and virtually join us for our crafting of community to not only honor nature and the solstice time but a time to connect with each other and give each other support during these times of challenge. Thank you all for tuning in. A chant that I created many years ago that I continue to use at various solstice celebrations is the solstice sun chant. Solstice sun, shining bright, longest day and shortest night. Solstice wish of hope and cheer, peace on earth throughout the year. Solstice sun, shining bright, Longest day and shortest night, solstice wish of hope and cheer, peace on earth throughout the year. Solstice sun shining bright, longest day and shortest night, solstice wish of hope and cheer, peace on earth throughout the year. I give thanks to you all who have joined in for this short pop-up Facebook Live celebrating summer live stream here. Um, give thanks to all of you in the Northern Hemisphere as you are preparing to celebrate summer solstice. Thanks to all of you in the Southern Hemisphere that are getting ready to celebrate winter solstice. Indeed, you can use that chant with just a little bit of tweaking. So those of you going into winter solstice, solstice sun shining bright, shortest day and longest night, solstice wish of hope and cheer, peace on earth throughout the year. And as we think about peace, may we have peace within ourselves, peace in our homes, peace and well-being 
in our neighborhoods, in our nations, and on the planet and beyond. Peace and well-being. And may we find effective ways to work together for equality, liberty, and justice for all. Not only now, but in the times ahead. Thank you all for joining me and hope to see you in cyberspace via podcasting and via live streams as we move closer to solstice time and as we join together to celebrate our connections with the divine, with the cycles of nature, and with each other. Much love, blessed be.